Today's Global Mustache Network broadcast is brought to you by Wall Trimming and Grooming. We're in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, covering the International Mustache Hall of Fame induction ceremony for the second class. In mere seconds, we're about to go inside City Hall and witness, for the first time this year, Dr. Adam Paul Cosgrove announcing your inductees for the International Mustache Hall of Fame. It is the second class the second time it's happened in the history of the world, and you're about to see it. Now, just one minute, I'm getting word. That's right. The 2015 Wall Man of the Year, Connor Barrett, the security detail of Dr. Adam Paul Cosgrove, who is the president of the AMI. He's going to be escorting him in as a security detail any moment now, and we'll bring you the next set of inductees to the Mustache Hall of Fame. Let's go live. Uh, good morning, everybody. And it is with uh, gratitude that I give you a hearty you're welcome for being here. Today is a momentous occasion in the world of mustachery as we once again celebrate all that is right in the sexually dynamic mustache lifestyle. Uh, the reason we have this class is for far too long, those of mustache descent have been, in a sense, preyed upon by the bald-faced majority. And it is my honor, through the Institute, a partnership with individuals all across our good-looking society, that we have once again vetted the best we have to offer, and we present the second class of the International Mustache Hall of Fame with partnership from Wall Trimming. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce the members this year. Uh, first, in the category of politics and leadership, Chester A. Arthur, the 21st President of the United States, fondly known by his constituents as the People's Chaz. Arthur's dynamic lower nose foliage unit was of course followed by the better known, yet not as lavish, mustaches of Presidents Theodore Roosevelt and William Howard Taft, both of whom were of course inducted in the inaugural class in 2015. Next, our historical figure inductee this year, Wyatt Earp, Old West pop culture icon, gambler, deputy chief, buffalo hunter, U.S. marshal, barkeep, person of mustached American descent. Wyatt Earp, today known more for how the man has been portrayed in numerous films, notably by the ruggedly handsome Kurt Russell. <laughs> However, he had one consistent thread throughout his complex and often celebrated life, his mustached American spirit wrapped in his signature Fu Manchu mustache. Next, our animated characters, Mario and Luigi. The animated mustached characters are an important part of the hall as they are the forerunner to children's acceptance and one day our entire society's acceptance of the mustache lifestyle. Derived from the uber-popular video game Donkey Kong and later developed into central characters for the Nintendo series of games and products under their own names, the animated and mustached Mario and Luigi have been a part of the glo global popular lexicon since the early 1980s and continue strong to this day. In sports, a fixture in the tight shorts wearing 1970s sports and sexual dynamism scene, the late Stephen Rowland Pre Prefontaine was an American middle and long distance runner who competed in the 1972 Olympics alongside legendary mustached American Olympian diver Mark Spitz. Credited for helping drive the 1970s era running boom, Prefontaine is the former holder of American records in seven, distance, seven different distance track events ranging from the 2,000 to 10,000 meters. After starring at the University of Oregon under legendary track coach and Nike founder Bill Bowerman, Prefontaine, along with his Chevron mustache, died in May 1975 at the age of 24 in an automobile accident. Next, Carl Weathers, representing film and television. Best known as Rocky Balboa's antagonist boxing foe Apollo Creed in the critically acclaimed Rocky film series, Carl Weathers is a legendary actor and former professional football player who also memorably 
portrayed cherished cocksure characters Jericho Action Jackson, Dylan in the film Predator with Arnold Schwarzenegger, Chubbs Peterson in Happy Gilmore, and countless others. A former linebacker for the National Football League's Oakland Raiders during the 70 to 71 seasons, Weathers and his Chevron mustache have been deeply unappreciated through his run of greatness as he carved a vital role for himself in American pop culture since the mid-1970s. We are proud to acknowledge all that Mr. Weathers has done and enshrine him in our Hall of Fame. And finally, in the music and arts category, Weird Al Yankovic. Often confused for professional wrestler and poet Leaping Lanny Poffo, Weird Al Yankovic first burst onto the American pop culture scene in 1976 and is perhaps the most accomplished mustached American musical satirist in history, as well as respected actor, author, and screen director. Beyond all else, his long-standing pyramid-style mustache, which he has removed in recent years to the pain disappointment of longtime fans, has carved him an enviable place in the global hair facial community, as Yankovic has continued to claim numerous Grammy Awards, produced gold and platinum records, and post impressively on the Billboard album charts. And with that, I am pleased to introduce to you the 2016 International Mustache Hall of Fame class. With that, I'm open to taking any questions. Sir. Uh, what's your progress on uh, coming up with an actual location for the, for the hall, a physical location? Excellent question, Theodore. This year, we have been in, in talks with a number of organizations and executives throughout the Pittsburgh and Allegheny County area. Uh, we are focused on keeping our, uh, our hall in District 2 in the West End area, but we are open to really whatever anybody can, can bring to promote what we have. The idea is that once we secure our physical location, we will be yet one more step closer to the $2 billion financial windfall that we've decided is the ideal number that we will bring upon our relocation to Pittsburgh by the year 2600. Next, yes, Kristen. Excellent question. Uh, I know that inducting Weird Al Yankovic was a, a, it was a tough decision, but when we looked at the parameters, though he is a, a clean-shaven mortal now, what Mr. Yankovic did in the 80s uh, was perhaps more pivotal than any other individual could have done to the everyman mustache. Uh, what he showed was you didn't need to have anything too fancy. He inspired countless 16 and 17 year olds to take their first steps and basically, in, in basically started the IT mustache boom of the 80s and early 90s, which coincided vigorously uh, with the introduction of, of computers and floppy disks everywhere. Are there any other questions? Yes? How, how would you feel about the county uh, maybe coming up with a uh, disposable razor tax or something along those lines to help fund the, the construction of the hall? That's a fair question. Uh, as you all may be very well aware, in 2013 we partnered with H&R Block to promote the Stash Act, which would credit all mustached and groomed Americans with a $250 tax rebate on their federal income taxes. Uh, of course, this did make it to the U.S. Congress. However, still to this date, the Mustache Caucus in American politics has yet to top 14. So without even a super minority, we have yet to make great, bold uh, leaps. However, I do feel that we are close to getting to where we need to be as a people, and one day the Stash Act will become law of the land. And if that's the last of the questions, I'd like to thank everybody once again for coming. You're welcome for being part of history, and I hope you can all have as good a looking day as you would with a mustache. Thank you.